Today we're checking out an Icon Tooltip Hover in Figma. Let's get started. Draw frame. Let's do 33 by 33. Round the corners to make it a circle. Remove the fill and give it a white border of two. Let's name it default. Select the text tool, type a question mark, place it in the center of our circle. Select the text tool again, input some text. Let's reduce its weight to regular and reduce it down to 12. Wrap it in an auto layout. Let's adjust our padding settings. Space between can be zero and let's do 11 all the way around. Let's name this layer bubble. Let's give it a white fill. Give it a border of threes. Color the text threes. And let's round the corners to four. Draw a square. Let's make it 15 by 15. Give it a white fill. A border of threes to match our bubble layer. Let's rotate it 45 degrees. Give it a custom border, put zero on the right and the bottom. Wrap it in an auto layout. Set the padding to 10 on the left and right and zero on the top and bottom. Let's call this layer pointer. Select the pointer in the bubble, wrap it in an auto layout, and let's call it tooltip. Set your space between to negative 10.9 and flip your layers from last to first on top. Now you can use the auto layout properties to quickly move the pointer from the left to the center to the right. And if you select the pointer layer, you can use the padding to fine tune exactly where you want it. Pretty slick. Now select the tooltip and place it inside the default frame. Turn off clip content and position the tooltip underneath your icon. Duplicate, rename the duplicate Hover. Now let's say you want to change what the tooltip says. Select the text, select matching layers, select the multi-edit text tool, and now you can update the text in multiple places. Select matching layers again, and nudge them over to realign them. Select all, create a component set, Let's drag this out to see the whole thing and rename it Icon. Select the default and turn the clip content back on. Switch to Prototype, connect your icons, select while hovering, and dissolve. Now let's place the icon in our design. Since the tooltip bubble is inside the container frame, it won't disturb other auto layouts that you place it in. Okay, that's pretty cool, but let's try something else. Select the default icon, turn clip content off, select the tooltip, scale it 25%, reposition it, select the icon, turn clip content back on, switch to prototype, switch dissolve to smart animate, and let's speed it up to 200 milliseconds. Give it a little life with some animation. That wraps it up. I'll see you for more lessons real soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.